Hey there YouTube, it's Andy from Left Field Engineering. Today I'm going to be talking about this uh, 2200 pound capacity ATV and garden tractor wagon. So, picked this thing up from Northern Tool. It's sold under the Farm Tough brand uh, out of Canada. And, uh, you know, it comes in a couple of boxes. Mine got a little delayed. There's some parts uh, you got to put together. Um, First impressions, while this thing came highly recommended from some of the garden tractor groups, um, A, I was missing the entire hardware bag, so that was a disappointment. Uh, B, this spindle, look down here, it's kind of at an angle. They left out the bottom washer. Now, obviously, there's two washers in it now, but um, I ended up surface grinding this washer down. It's a hell of a lot thinner. Both of these, I ground them down to half the thickness of the other one to get it to fit. I don't know, maybe it's me just being picky, you know, running a fab shop, you kind of expect things. Um, but realistically, that's not the biggest problem. So you'll notice that these have no bearings in them. And that was because when I was about ready to install them, I happened to glance inside and realized that there is steel shot um in the wheels so it looks like this hole was either misbored or this insert was misinserted in here because you know see it kind of like comes up short in this cavity not in the tire itself but in this cavity it appears to be sealed off right here in this area this cavity has steel shot in it i'm going to try to do this i have no idea if it's going to if you're going to be able to hear it or not but it's like a maraca. <laughs> there's uh, there's steel shot in here now. If it's like this and you roll around, but I you know tell you, you may have even been able to see that one bounce out there. I mean I already cleaned this one out a couple minutes ago, and there's already more steel shot in here. So I'm like, no, nah, this can't be all of them. It's all of them. So for whatever happened, you know they, these these weren't taped off right at the factory or whatever. But, thankfully, the bearings are double, you know, they're, they're rubber sealed on both sides. So, the bearings are not shot. This is a thing to keep an eye open for because if you actually grease this, it would pick up steel shot and push it into the grease. And then, o over time, I mean, I know that these are double sealed, and that's funny in its own right because if you're going to run these and with a greasable fitting... One of these inner seal or the inner seals should be removed, allowing grease to get into the bearings. But um, hey, maybe that's for a you know a different version or whatever. But you know, at some point these rubber seals are going to break down, and that steel shot grease would get in here, absolutely seize these up, and then it would just run on the steel axles, and you probably wouldn't notice it, and it would just wear into these. So it's something to be cautious of. I called Farm Tough, and I was like, hey, guys, uh, you know, this is a situation. They were like, you know, they were pretty good about it. They were like, you know, our concern is to get you fixed and pass this information on to our suppliers. So, um, you know, I provided them with a bunch of pictures. They were super helpful about it, and uh, unfortunately... All the wheels that they currently have have steel shot in them. So um, maybe it's a little note if you're buying a wagon in the next year. You know, this is uh, January 2021. And, uh, you know, that seems like everything that's been out, either either drop shipped or at Northern Tool and stuff, currently has steel shot in the wheels. So uh, that's kind of a... Um, uh, a plan to you know get me some sort of resolution they offered to send me eight new bearings um there wasn't much else for that um they were going to send me the hardware kit that was missing from the wagon as well um so here's my fix because these are double sealed theoretically they're lifetime lubricated and which is yeah until the bearing dies from lack of lubrication um I'm going to silicone off these holes. This grease fitting isn't doing anything right now. Even if you pump the cavity with grease, it would just back up against the seal. And more importantly, keeping steel shot out of this far outweighs the benefits of putting grease in here for now. So if I want to grease them, I can always uh, take a pick and pull this lip seal off and then just uh, you know pump some grease into the bearings themselves. It's a backyard hay wagon. It's not going a million miles. It's not going down the road, um, all that. So something to be cautious of. Um, 
you know, I might do a couple week review on this thing after I get it all back together. I'm still waiting for the wagon, uh, the parts themselves to show up, but it's just something that I felt like the general public should know. And uh, good luck.